Hello boys and goys, welcome to Will You Press The Button? Uh, so this is like a, I guess, logic or philosophy kind of thing in a way, I suppose. Uh, it gives you two choices and our first one here is, will you uh, press the button? Uh, you press the button, you will become immortal, but insects of all kinds love the heck out of you and won't leave you alone. FFS, uh, or you can say I will not press the button. Uh, so my my thing is like I, I I just like these kind of things that make you think, and uh, this one I feel like is really easy. You don't press the button because Im immortality is not all it's cracked up to be. Just like the first comment there, you, you have has every, everybody like I think required reading at least for me in like elementary school maybe or something was like Tuck Everlasting. Everybody you know dies. Like, what, what, why do you really want to be immortal? It just, everything just keeps going on. And I feel like at some point you just lose the will to do anything. Like, you become so bored. <laughs> It'd be cool to see some things over time. But you'd, you'd be so bored. And everybody you know dying, uh, it just, you're just still there. Like, hey, you don't do it. You don't do it. I, I will not press the button. I'm sorry. Only 32% of people press the button. That makes a lot of sense. You, 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 that's not one you do. Next one. You gain the ability to communicate with animals, oh, but you lose the ability to communicate with people. I feel like that would make every day very hard. People are te technically animals. I, I, I see you. I see you. Um... That would just make every day really, really hard. Like, and and I gotta say, like, lose the ability to communicate with people. That, that means, like, even sign language, not just, like, verbally, right? Like, communicate across the board. You can't write. You can't do anything. So I, I'd say you, you don't press the button again. These, these, these ones are very clearly, like, no. No, you do not. I feel like animals would have some interesting things to say, but you just you just don't press the button. Your day to day life would just be topsy turvy, and how how are you gonna pay your taxes? You can't communicate with people. <laughs> okay, will you press the button? You can eat whatever you want without having to exercise or move without getting fat. You don't have to eat to survive either. But once you start eating, you have to eat until you die. I what what are these like yeah uh, these 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 are not good ones so far. I feel like these are all very easy decisions. You you don't press the button again. Like why would you want to eat whatever you want without uh, having to exercise or move or anything like that? Basically it's saying you can be as lazy as you want and eat as much as you want, but you're going to have to do that forever. And like I feel like it, it wasn't the Flash who had to like constantly eat because he burned so many calories. Like you'd just be walking around constantly snacking like throughout your whole life. Your jaw would be so tired. Like, no, no, forget it. It will not press the button. I don't know who these people are that are pressing the button, but they're insane. Will you press the button? You are immortal, but well, people are really obsessed with the immortal thing. Slowly become less human every day until becoming a crazy scientist who wants to kill all of the human race. Uh, no? What? Why? <laughs> At what point is this change, like, does this change into the crazy scientist, for one? Like, is that maybe in your old age? And, like, no. You just don't. You just don't. Like, what? Why? Will you press the incredibly, the <laughs> incredibly button? Will you press the button? You become incredibly lucky, but your luck never works inside casinos or any vicinity where you can gamble with money. Honestly, I think you press the button here. Uh, th that's just me. That's like not really a gambler ever. Like, I go to a casino and I play it more like an arcade. I'll throw. 20 bucks on a machine just to have fun because well, let's be honest i'm gonna lose um 
And I think being lucky outside of that, incredibly lucky, you can get way farther in life because money isn't everything, for one. And if you can only never work inside casinos or anywhere where you can gamble with money. I mean, you you easily press the button. And especially because, like, does that mean if only when you can gamble with money, and I guess this is like loopholes, does that mean you can gamble like a car or a house or something like that? Not that you would want to. Even being Even being incredibly lucky means you can still lose. But yeah, I think you press the button because that's just a, a, a straight up boon, at least for me. Will you press the button? You win a five million dollar lottery, but the troll song plays in the background and you can only hear it for four random hours every day. Um, I don't think I really know what the troll song is here. I don't think I'd want to hear a song in my head like I'm the only one who can hear it from four hours four random hours every day especially because that means that you could be sleeping and all of a sudden you wake up and all you hear is this song and can't go back to bed for like an hour at the at, at best in five million dollars like mm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I will not I will not this one is very 59-41%. That's very split. I feel like this would drive you in, insane. You Like, you'd, you'd slowly go crazy and maybe become a scientist who wants to kill everybody. <laughs> because, let's be honest, like, you'd go crazy every day for four hours. I don't know how long that song is, but I gotta think you're hearing that a lot every day. Will you press the button? You can read minds, uh, but whenever you read someone's mind, they can read yours too. I mean, I don't think this is a problem because you're here you're gaining something. The ability to read minds, and obviously they can read yours too, but you have a choice to not use it. So... You're really only gaining something. If you don't hit the button, you don't lose, you don't gain. And if you hit the button, you gain and you don't lose. So, if you want to, it's there. If you don't want to and want to go about your life, that's fine too. So, yeah, I think you press the button. 56%. There are people not want to read their minds. I I feel like some people are really, really... I don't know negative about other people like if you don't want that other person to read your mind when you're reading theirs what are you thinking about that <laughs> like whoa i don't know i i feel like there's no portion where i'd want to read somebody's mind and them not know like or want to read my mind like think about how maybe helpful it could be when somebody's like well you know but maybe uh i what do you want for dinner oh i want uh whatever you want well how does uh chinese sound how does this sound how does uh thai sound and uh, i don't know like just get it over with they can you can read their mind they can read your mind boom boom dinner's decided like there's little situations like that that you could just make so easy <laughs> like yeah do it press the button you are given the love of your life but your personal memories are completely wiped. Knowledge and intelligence remains. I feel like you don't press the button. Because even if you're given the love of your life, that doesn't necessarily mean that they love you back, for one, right? And... Are they going to find you incredibly boring and not want to, like have anything to do with you they'd be like hey hey like remember yeah when i was a kid and blah 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 especially if it was like somebody you grew up with and they're like remember that time uh in band camp and you're like no what do you mean i, I was never in band camp i was never in bands i don't remember and they're gonna be like how do you what do you 
What do you mean? Like I, I, I'm sorry, uh, London over here. How would this not be the best thing to ever ever happen? I, I think there's a lot of uh, unknowns here. I, I don't think that this implies that they love you back for one. And uh, I don't think that that doesn't mean that they wouldn't like just leave you because they're uh, you might be knowledgeable and 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 intelligent, but. All your personal memories, does that mean also, like, new memories? Are you going to forget everything that you experienced with them? I don't know. There's too many unknowns. I don't think you press the button at all. That's a no. Don't press it. 60 and 40. Interesting. Give me the next one. You are married to the love of your life. You are both happy and neither of you ever cheat. But you can't have any children of your own. This includes adoption. Oh, see, see, now that's a question. That's a question. <laughs> and of course, the first one was, what about kidnapping? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Whoa there, pump the brakes. Um... <laughs> this, this is one where if you're both happy, for one, if you're both happy, does that mean... That this does not make you unhappy. It means you and your partner are happy without having children, including adoption. So you are no, in no way really losing anything by pressing the button because you are you have happiness. You're losing the, the ability to have any children of any sort. You could obviously kind of, uh, let's say, give and do charity work and things like that that could give you sort of a uh, caregiver vibe of any kind of sort. There's a million different things you could do there without having children and feeling like you're doing something for somebody that, that needs care. But you're already happy without having children anyway. So... I guess the only caveat is you're not leaving a, a, a family line or legacy or something like that, which, again, if you're happy with that, I don't think there's anything or any reason to not press the button here unless you want kids and you don't want to be, like, it doesn't mean that you're not going to be happy with your kids, obviously, but you would be happy also without having them. I feel like you do press it, even though I guess the big thing is do you want the kids before you press it? Because I guess, in my mind, once you press it, the want might stay there, but it doesn't bother you, I guess after you press the button before the before you press it would bother you once you press it and you're happy even if the want is there you're also happy not meeting that want for kids so i guess this is one that really i guess there's not a downside once you hit the button but going up to hitting the button there is a big downside I guess just based on the words here. So, I think that would be a toughie. I think I don't hit the button because that would be something maybe to experience and it doesn't mean that you cannot, like you can still have this. You can still have the first thing and be married to love of your life and both be happy and never cheat, yada, yada. And you can still have kids. So I think you don't hit the button at the end of the day. Because you can still have all of those things. Let's hit no. Don't hit the button. 69% pressed it. Interesting. Okay. Huh. I guess that's more of like instant gratification versus... This may come, may only be for the last year of your life, or, or something like that. 
I mean, the other thing too, and I guess in that sense, is that if you do hit the button and you're both happy and never cheat and blah, 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 if you do hit the button, that could only last a day or something too. Whereas if you don't hit the button, it still could only last a day as well. Hmm. Yeah, I, I still don't think you hit the button. I, I, I'm kind of a little surprised that that many people hit it. I think it's very instant gratification to hit it. Next. You get to marry the actor, actor of your choice. Their co-star watches you make love. What? No. <laughs> No, why? What? Why? What? I, I don't even know on this one. Like, why is this a thing? I think this is the horny bop. Like, a, uh, who wants to marry the actor of your choice? I guess like that's that's something again that they, they probably you know it doesn't mean that they love you back or anything like that it just means you get to marry the actor of your choice they may hate you and then why would you want their co-star to watch you like this is just creepy very creepy on, on multiple levels of creepy like no are you are you like tying this person up their, their co-star like or are they doing it willingly They're, that's a rabbit hole and uh no you don't hit the button <laughs> you don't hit the button what are wrong with these people why are so many pressing the button oh go take a gold shower <laughs> oh my goodness okay alrighty then yeah that's uh that's the, our first experience with will you press the button i hope you enjoyed it leave a like comment and subscribe and have a wonderful day and press the button if you want to have a wonderful day. But if you don't press the button, you might have one anyway. Take it easy, everybody. Toodles. I'm out.